<laughs> Hello, my sweet cakes, and welcome to Auntie Nelly's kitchen. Today we are going to make die-hard sugar cookies. Come out to the coast. Let's get together. Have a few laughs. I'm so excited to make Die Hard sugar cookies with you today. Die Hard is amazing. It's my favorite Christmas movie, and because it has all the things that a holiday movie should have, it has a hero and love and C4 and more C4. And not only does Bruce Willis fight off the powers of Alan Rickman and the terrorists, he does it with bare feet. So to honor that today, we are going to make bare feet sugar cookies. With sugar crystal shards in them. <laughs> well, it's better than being caught with your pants down, huh? <laughs> And sweatshirt cookies with the iconic line. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. To get started, you're going to need simple sugar cookie dough, some flour. A sweatshirt cookie cutter, a barefoot cookie cutter, some Jolly Ranchers, and you can pick any color you want. I chose blue. Firm white frosting with the two tip, runny white frosting, skin colored firm frosting with the two tip, runny <laughs> skin colored frosting, and firm red frosting and a scribe tool. Roll out your cookie dough to about a quarter inch. Tap your cookie cutter into the flour and press down on your dough. Do the same thing with your other cookie cutter, and you can repeat this process until you get as many cookies as you'd like. Place your cookies on your baking sheet and bake for eight minutes, or until they're a nice golden color. You want your oven set at 350 degrees. Once your cookies are done, move them onto a cooling rack. Welcome to the party, pal. For the glass shards, we're going to take three to five Jolly Ranchers and place them in a Ziploc bag, and then we're going to do my favorite part. We're going to smash them. Carl, Shindim Finster, shoot the glass. Ooh, ooh, ah. Once your cookies are cool, you get to add the frosting. Take your firm frosting and pipe an outline around your cookie. Then you're going to take your runny frosting and flood your cookie. Once you have the right amount of flooding done on your cookie, you can take your scribe tool and move it around so that you fill the entire cookie. We're going to let this harden for about six to eight hours before we add our final decorations. Do you really think you have a chance with these cookies, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki yay, Mother Fondant! Now that our cookies have hardened, you get to add the final decorations. For the sweatshirt, you're going to take the red firm frosting with that number one tip, and you're going to pipe that iconic line. For our feet, we're going to take that same red frosting and make blood splatters all around our feet, and then you're going to take. The glass shards and place them in that blood splatter. Take your red frosting again and fill in around those glass shards. You can make more blood and smear it around more, and so it looks nice and gory. Now listen to me, Mister. I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but you just destroyed a building. I have a hundred people down here covered in glass. Glass, glass. I don't give a sift about glass. Hey, I'm in charge here, pal. Well, I got some bad news for you, pal. I'm not the one who got butter pecan fudged on social media. Now put the other guy on. How you doing, Roy? Pretty under flipping appreciated, Al. And there you have it. Die Hard Holiday Cookies. Thanks for watching, my sweet cakes. See you next time. Hans. Hans. Jesus. I honey.
honey. So that's what this is all about. A robbery. Put down the gun. No. You got me. Still the cowboy, Mr. McLean. Americans are all alike. You made a pretty good cowboy yourself. What did you say before? Yippee ki yay, mother fondant. <laughs> Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe to today. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe today.